Ha ha! Hey y'all! Okay, so I'm on my Mevo. We're gonna see if this works or not. If it doesn't, I will switch over to my camera. But we're gonna play with this little guy today. I thought we'd do another one of Melly Mel's um, pancake wreaths. Okay, so let me get myself up here. So um, I was with my group the other day and Brenda is in my group. Okay, Brenda from Wreath by Busy Bee, she's in my group. And she was showing us this wreath she made and I thought it was adorable. So we're gonna make one of hers. It's kind of like a combination of um, the pancake method with, I'm calling them pinwheels. Now these are the, um, these are the little uh, ribbons that you make at Christmas time that look like, I don't know why I cannot remember the name of it, but I'm sure you've seen them. But I think they kind of look like pinwheels in, the, in these colors. Okay, so we're going to make some of these. Hi, Charlie. All right. <clears throat> so, I have some of this foil mesh. Okay, this came from Trendy Tree. Oh, and I did put um, links to Trendy Tree for several of these items down in the list. And if you're signed up for my emails, I am now going to be doing a weekly recap that will have um, all the supplies and stuff in it. So, that you can find them and find the video. And points at thank you so much. I don't know why I could not get that to come out today. All right, so we're gonna make our own wreath frame. And then um, I've already cut 10 of them. So we have two more to cut. I cut them at 30 inches. Oh, and I have no moderator today. Um, Owl had a procedure done and she is resting. So it's just us today, but I think we'll be fine. Okay. So if I don't see your question, just hang tight because I will answer it when I get done. All right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use, this is the Dollar Tree frame. There's also a link for the Dollar Tree frame in there. I'm going to go on every one of these. Um, I will put a link in this video after we get done of where you can sign up for the email list okay all right so I just go right where this little crossbar is I'm gonna go on both levels okay and then I'm gonna tie it super duper tight like right in the center of it and you can tell if it's tight because it's not gonna move all right we'll go to the next one same exact thing right in the center okay tight tight see it's not moving so that way you don't have to worry about them so y'all have to go check out um, Reese by Busy Bee she has a YouTube channel as well as a Facebook page and she is the one who was using the I'm gonna call them pinwheels because you know, poinsettia doesn't really sound all that great <laughs> on the 4th of July ring. So, we're going to say today's ones are pinwheels. Oh. I love to get stuff from the Dollar Tree. They have especially like little embellishments or signs. Of course, the frames are great. Aren't they? I could just kind of go down here. I'm just hoping that everything works well with me though tonight. If it doesn't, don't worry. I'll switch over to my webcam and come right back on. So, if it starts to frizz out, you know how these things are. They don't like to play nice with each other. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I gotcha. Your name is Catherine. Okay. Well, we'll remember that, Catherine. Okay. So, 
this one didn't want to stay so let's just tie it around that little piece okay and then I'm I think I'm doing this a little bit opposite of the way that I know I'm doing it opposite of the way that um, Melly Mel sincerely creative does this but that's okay because we are all individuals right all right so I'm gonna go on the top in between the two like this I think she does the top with this one the crossbar and the bottom in the middle but we're gonna do opposite so but make sure you check her out too All you want to do is just make it super duper tight so you're going to end up with 12 so there's six sections so you're doing two in each section so that's how many mesh I cut so I cut all my mesh at 30 inches yeah they do have they, they have great little stuff and you can find little things there and do things you wouldn't necessarily think you could Um, so, Reese by Busy Bee has a YouTube channel. Yes, she does. Melly Mel does not. I'm trying to talk her into it. But, uh, she's not there yet. So, she has a Facebook page. It's called Sincerely Creative. Tying it to two bars. So, you can see I have it over the top two bars and then the bottom two bars. So, I'm putting the bottom at the cross section and the top right in the center okay these are cut me to 30 inches okay and we're only gonna do ribbons on the bottom well we're gonna do ribbons on the top but a different way so this is the two ribbons and we're only using two all right so I'm just gonna pull this out and cut the last two and then We'll get started. So, all right. So I ended up, yep, yeah, sincerely creative. I ended up with 12. So you can cut, if you're going to use a 10 inch mesh on a 10 yard roll, you can get 12 30 inch cuts. Okay, you can get. 18 20 inch cuts and of course you can get 36 10 inch cuts hello all right so we're gonna ruffle it just like we normally do right so right up the center okay the only thing that's different about this method is that you the whole object of the method is to keep it flat to go on to a screen door. All right, so I'm gonna take this, open this up, I'm gonna place this down, tie it off a good couple times, and then you take your mesh and you kind of fold it on top of each other like this. Alright, so it naturally wants to do the little curl thing, so you just kind of have to take it. Now this is the last piece, so it's going to be a little more difficult than the others. So it's probably better it's on the bottom. But what I like to do is just kind of put my hands under there, and then I just take my hands and kind of flatten it down. See? It's almost like a Mexican little sombrero thing. I don't know what it is with me with references today. Okay, so if you ever have trouble ruffling, I want you to try this trick. Okay, so if you will play something, I was playing with Mod Podge earlier, so we'll use that. Place something heavy down, 
then spread your hands out put your fingers kind of spread out like this and go right up the center so if you have your fingers spread out like this and you have a heavy object it kind of helps to keep that ruffle going straight okay because that's kind of the hardest part is keeping this side straight right okay so move that up here's our next one okay alrighty once again we're just gonna kind of pull them across each other see and then flatten them out you know you can stick your hands under here and kind of flip up the curls so it's more down than up okay <laughs> well it's not tea in my tumbler but it's not alcohol either So just go straight up the center and this is foil mesh so it's really nice you see how it has that kind of heavy foil in it I like this because it's thicker so the thicker mesh now why did that one move hold on y'all I have a little difficulty one so I'm just flipping it around that little bar And then I'll place it down. Okay. Yeah, so the thicker the mesh is, kind of the better it covers, right? So this one is pretty thick. The little mesh, the little um, foil is very close together. So it covers really well. You see how well that covers? So you don't have to use nearly as much of this as you do some of the other stuff. So that's why we're only using one roll. Okay, so we're, we're economizing. Because that is all kind of goodness. Let's put this one around too. I want to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> got caught under my finger okay doesn't matter how you put your ruffle on because you're going to pull it around and ruffle it together well I'm glad you caught alive okay so see how you just kind of pull it around and then you just want to kind of stick your hands under it and get that curl to curl down instead of up. All of these mesh are cut at 30 inches and I cut 12 of them because we put 12 ties on. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> Gracious. So today we went and looked at a couple warehouses because I am flat running out of room in my storage unit and in my house and I think that it's about to drive us all crazy that I have so much crap all over the house so I tell you what though it's hard to find one that doesn't that's not like just no air conditioning holy cow I don't know if I can handle that I mean I live in the south it's already in the 90s here it's going to be in the hundreds in like a day or so. So I just don't think I could do that. <sighs> so I may be looking a while. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I want to have room so that I can get my kits together faster because I only have so much room so I can't order too much at one time. 
I don't want y'all waiting on them. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, where are y'all from? I live in South Carolina. I live right near Columbia, South Carolina. There is some awesome places to shop here. We have Carolina Pottery, which I absolutely adore. Love that place. And we're only like two and a half hours from Sims Pottery. So you see how nice and thin it is. And don't you love these colors? Ooh, I just love it. All right, so I'm gonna kind of pull these up up here so I can find them. All right, so we are going to put our ribbons on and then we're gonna move to the top. Okay. So when you make this wreath, it's almost like you make it in stages. Okay. And you want to make sure that you go back and make sure that none of these are causing each other to flop up. Because that won't help us. Okay. Alright, so. Did I drop that ribbon again? No. So this is the two ribbons. Alright. They're both cut at 12 inches. So how is it in your area? Is it hot or cold? As I can tell you, it is hot as the Dickens here. Alright, so I tied on three times. And then I'm just going to spread them out. Like that. Okay. I'm making this one pretty simple because it's kind of rustic. If I lived five minutes from Sims Pottery, I would be in the most trouble ever. I'd be staked out in there. They'd be sick of me. Okay. There we go. So I'm just trying to arrange it so that you can see both the ribbons and the mesh. Because I don't want to lose the mesh or the ribbon. So... Y'all, I put that on upside down. <laughs> That's okay. We could just pull it out. Okay. Oh, hey, I have to tell y'all something exciting. So, I finally got around to setting up some merchandise on my YouTube channel. So the next time you watch one of my videos, you should, should see some shirts I designed. And they're so cute. I have some ordered. I can't wait to get them. And I designed them myself. I was so excited. I had so much fun doing that. Probably too much fun. <laughs> but that's okay. It's all good. I even have leggings. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of funny because y'all know how much I love leggings, right? I am a legging girl. I like them. When I quit my job, that became my official clothing. Leggings. Because they're comfortable. This is a 14 inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. Which is perfect for these types of wreaths. Yep. Okay. 
All right, I don't like that one standing up, so let's kind of maneuver him back a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got the first level done. So already you can't really see the frame. Okay. Oh, that's better. I had to move my fan up. Hey, Greenville's pretty close to me. All right. Oh, and don't forget, I am giving away a ticket to the sold out Wreath Makers Live. You have a few more days to enter and it is in the description. There's a link in the description. And I'll get the link to join my email list after I get done here. All right, so we just ruffle it up, same thing, 30 inches. I'm gonna put it on the second layer. And then we're gonna do what Brenda did and make these cute little poinsettias that we're gonna call pinwheels. <laughs> All right, so we do the same thing. Kind of spread them out on top of each other. All you're really doing is getting it to lay down, okay? Let's make sure our ribbon's out here. If you see areas that are flipping up, just stick your hands in and kind of get that ruffle to start going down. Use your hands. There we go. Okay. We'll be able to see some of this ribbon because what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to put them on top. See, isn't that cute? Oh, 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 I like it. All right, so let's keep going. I'm going to get distracted. Whew. All righty. So don't forget, if I'm not seeing your questions, I am without moderator today. Owl needed a day off. Yes, you could do 20 inches on the mesh. I just really like the 30 inches and I thought I'd just go ahead and use the whole roll so I went with 30 because we only have 12 cuts but you absolutely can do 20 I think that Mel does 20 is it Melly Mel do 20 y'all she is the sweetest thing I'm excited I'm gonna get to meet her she is super cute and sweet. I mean, hey, anybody who wants to be a mom and goes out and becomes a foster mom and adopts children, a-okay in my book. I know how hard that is. It takes a special person. Love this mesh. Yeah, I had to go through in vitro to have mine, and I tell you, whoo, it was worth every second, though. But I tell you, I wasn't scared of shots after that. Letting your husband, who is not medically trained, give you shots, not really as exciting as it sounds. I'll tell you that. Uh, the days that I had to go to the doctor, I was pretty excited. Although he got pretty good at it. But continuous shots for like 12 weeks, 14, 16 weeks, that just is not fun. But it was worth every stinking shot. And then some. So, I'm not complaining. It worked. I'm thankful. We're both thankful. All right. Let's see, where are we at? One, three more. Luckily, I'm so busy, I don't have time to go out to craft stores very often. Or I'd probably be in more trouble than I'm already in. 
it's just it's kind of like you can't help yourself you go in to get one thing and then boom all right so just keep spinning it around now of course if you want to watch the master at this you need to go over to Facebook and check her out on Sincerely Creative. Her name is Melly Mouse. She's cute as a button. Here we go. She does a lot of these that fit in the screen door. locked into Hobby Lobby from Saturday to Monday. You'd have like the whole store decorated, wouldn't you? <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? That is a cool idea. Hobby Lobby should have a contest for that. Spend the night at Hobby Lobby. We'd all want to do that, wouldn't we? Let's see. There it is. Run around. <laughs> I'd probably make so many things. They come back and say, "What is all this stuff?" <laughs> There's a lot of classes and stuff you can take at Hobby Lobby. Did y'all know that? Did you know that you can teach wreath classes at Hobby Lobby? You sure can. They'll let you use their training space. Pretty cool, I'd say. There we go. All right. So we've got the two layers in. See how nice and flat it is? Okay, so let's talk about these little poinsettias. So I have one we're going to put together. Together. <laughs> Seriously? That sounds funny. See our cute little heart? I also have that one. But see now, I live in the South, so y'all, of course, is very popular in the South. But it's not popular everywhere. So I thought we might do this. Um, just because it's kind of like better for all. But isn't that cute? I like that too. This would be really cute in, in like Texas on a Texas store. I don't know why, but I think that star kind of makes me think of it. Alright, so to make these, you need six pieces of ribbon cut eight inches. Okay. Wait a minute, what did I miss? I'll have to come back and read because I, I can't see what it says. Okay, I'll come back to it. Alright, so you know how usually when you're doing ribbons, you fold it, you cut away from yourself to get that dovetail, right? This one, opposite. So you've got to get that little... Well, prayers that you get better quickly. You want to get that little point, okay? So what you have to do is you have to cut from the outside to the inside, like this, okay? And you get that little point. I like to cut them all together. It helps it kind of be more consistent. All right, so we got one. All right, let's do the second one. All right, remember, outside to inside to a point. 
just like that and then you have your little point okay this part's very simple I like to use a pipe cleaner I know right how flat it is for a screen door yep okay this one didn't come to a point very well so let's just fix that real quick so you want them to have a point all right and then what you're gonna do and I'll show you what they look like when they're done I mean how stinking cute is that right okay so you can make it smaller you can make it larger you can also use one and a half inch ribbon see this one is now I had it sitting over there so it's not kind of spread out but this is one and a half inch ribbon okay so what I like to do is take them all together fold it over and you want to get a good crease on it because this is what's going to help you okay get that nice crease on it and then I will go ahead it's like making a paper airplane remember when you were little and you used to make paper airplanes so you fold down that edge to make the air paper airplane same thing flip it over to the other side paper airplane just like that so what I like to do is I like to do them all together like that because it helps when you're putting it together so now you're gonna do them individually just fold it down like a paper airplane just like that then you can just stick it in like your bodabra okay so fold 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 see doesn't it look like a paper airplane put it in there okay fold fold it down so you're folding the nice side of the ribbon down okay all right so you're folding it to the ugly side then fold the nice side down and the nice side down just like that you want to make sure you're getting a crease in there it will help you later on okay now you're not looking for perfection so don't don't worry if it's not like perfect all right so this is our last one hold them down we have all six pieces and then I just take them out and stack them together holding it in the center now if your hands hurt use a chip clip just chip clip it get another one out chip clip that another one out chip clip that another one out okay so you want to make sure you have them pretty much the same length so just kind of mess with it a little bit just to make sure they're pretty close all right then you just take your pipe cleaner okay go right in the center huh i don't know what that was that was weird all right and then you're just gonna tight it tighten it real tight just like that okay all right so once you get it tightened then what you're going to do is you're going to pull them in the center together like this pull them in the center just like that together then pull these two together these two together and then you just kind of start spreading it out you see how if you have that crease it starts the nice little how it makes that nice little like fold now let me show you what I did with this one all right so this one <coughs> I'll show you how I got it to look like that this one is this ribbon okay I know it does look like a star right okay so we just get eight inches all right I'm just going to show you a couple of them well, we'll go ahead and do a whole one. Let's see. Four, five, six. Okay. I should have gotten my perfect tail out, but I didn't. All right. All 
right, so remember you want to cut them together if possible. All right, so you are folding it. I like to fold it with the pretty side out. It helps me to remember what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why, but, and then you want to go from the bottom, the outside to the inside, just like that. Whoops, I kind of frizzed down on that last little bit. Okay, so you got our point. Keep that together, go to the other side. All right, fold that together and go right up to the top. I knew it didn't feel like I got those last couple. All right, there we go. All right, so you got your tops. See now these on the bottom, and I wanna show you this. These on the bottom are slightly smaller, so what I do usually is I'll just kind of trim it off a little bit and get them kind of the same size, like that, okay? All right, here we go. Let's move these out of the way. And let's kind of zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, now, we'll get this out. All right, so remember we take all of them together, fold it over, get that crease, push hard. If you don't wanna push hard, put something heavy on it. That's what I do sometimes if it hurts my hands. This doesn't crease quite as nice as the other one does, but it does help you to get a little crease. All right, now we're gonna put them in Little Miss Bodabra here. And then when we take them out, I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so crease, crease, get our airplane. There we go. Pretty cool idea Brenda had, huh? I like it. I told her you could do a whole wreath like that. I think she should do a whole wreath like that. Don't y'all think so? And hey y'all, this is a great project for scrap ribbon. Excellent project for scrap ribbon, and I can tell you what these things are so popular at Christmas time. You can make them for people to put on their trees. Yes, you can. So this one right here is made with one and a half inch ribbon. So you see, they look just as cute. I just really like the patterns that's on this two ribbon, so that's what we're using. All right, now. This is how I made this look this way. So I took it and I put the two stars next to each other. Then I took and put the stripes, then a star, then a stripe, then a star. So that way it almost makes it look like the stars are together, like it makes a pattern. So that's what I did there. All right, so we put it together. Now don't worry if they're not like totally fine. Once you get it together, you can get them all straightened out. Okay, so remember you gotta take this and start crimping them towards the center, like that. And that's when you'll be able to spread them out and get that pattern going. So you see how it looks like it's almost like it's a pattern. I just thought it looked cute. See? Yeah. Well, these are really cute. These are popular at the holidays. So people like to put these on their trees and stuff like that. I'm gonna tell you, some people do trees for all seasons too. So there you go, a little idea of what you can do with them. You can sell them. Awesome, congratulations. All right, so let's all say hi to Bella because you know she's gonna run when I do this. Hi Bella, I saw you baby. 
Okay. All right. So this came from um, Old Time Pottery. Isn't it cute? Has like this little stuff in it. I just think it's very rustic and cute. All right. I'm just gonna put two staples in it. So, like one right here, and the other one about right where that price tag is. Oh, and a little trick for y'all. Get some business cards that are little tags. Put them on the back of your sign. Ta-da! Then, if somebody's looking at the back of your wreath, it has your information on it. All right, here we go. Don't get upset, Bella. I know she will. This is thin. I think I could make it. There she goes. Yep, no problem. Okay. Remember to try to get your stapler as flat as possible. So it will go down in there nice and smooth. That's why I always do two staples because you just never know. All right, let's do up here. It's gonna be a little harder. Okay, I don't want to smush my stuff. Okay. I think I'll put my hand under it. There. I didn't want to smush those cute little beads. All right, all done, Bella. So I'm just gonna take this and just tie it down to the wreath. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of slip it behind my ruffle here. I'd really like to tie it to the base, if I can. Or I could go right through my mesh. Yeah, I know. Poor Bella. She hates it. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we talk about in my groups. Ways to get yourself out there. Because I'm going to tell you what. People will, especially if they go to like a craft fair and buy something from you, they are not going to remember where in the world they bought that. Okay? So you want to make sure that you can remind them where they got it. Alright. So I'm sneaking it underneath the ruffle. Like that. I'm kind of going back behind it. Okay. Sneak it back here. Now, if you don't have the kind that are stickers, just take your business card and tape it. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, there we go. Honestly, this looks cute just like that. Doesn't it? All right. But we're just going to jazz it up a little bit because I just think it will be fun. All right. So we're going to take the ones that we like the most. I like this one. It's pretty small. This one's nice and small. So I'm just gonna take them and take these little ties and I'm gonna tie it on to the ties that are already here. And I'm just gonna kind of wrap them around each other. It's gonna cover where the tie is and it's just gonna make a cute little Almost like a pinwheel. There we go. Cute! Alright, let's do the other one. Okay. Alright. So I'll mess it up a little bit while I'm tying it on, but that's okay. I'll fix it when I get it done. When I get it on here.
All right, there we go. Now, there we go. All right, let's put, I like this one. Let's put that one here. Now, I think Brenda put more than this, but I think we're just gonna do a few. I just want to kind of give it a little something extra at the top. I don't know if she's put her video on YouTube yet, but I would go check out her page, her channel. It's cute. All right, which one of these is smaller? Well, they're about the same. Okay. I'm not going to do anything with this one because it is under our sign, so we can just kind of hide it. There we go. Just another way to spice up one of the little pancake wreaths. I thought it was a pretty smart idea. Okay. And then you just kind of rearrange it a little bit. So you can also take oh. we'll just heat up this glue for a second. Okay, there we go. Alright, so you can take little so I like to get these little things and I will repurpose these little beads on here and I'll just take it off and I'll glue it right smack dab in the center. It covers where that little piece is. You could use a little star like this, a little star in the center. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Kind of matches. You just put a little dab of glue on there and you're good to go. All right, so look how flat it is. You see that? Let's see how flat it is. Let's see, do I have a measuring thing in here? Uh, let's just use this. We use this. All right, so it is right there. It is three inches. Ah, <laughs> how about that? three inches we got it to three inches and it's different you can still see the mesh it looks good from the back see all right let's see if our glue is enough yeah okay so we'll put this one here perfect let's do a little blue one on the other side okay I love to get pieces like this because I like to take them apart <laughs> and I'll use them for different things. It's always good to just have a few little small things around that you can kind of glue on top of things like that. There we go. All right, we can do the little white ball on this one. You don't need a lot, just a little. Let's do the red one over there. Alright, just like that. And that covers where you tied them together. So what do we think? Look how flat that is. So you can still see the ribbons coming out here, but it's not like overpowering. And I wanted to be able to see this beautiful mesh. And we only put two layers on. Thank you. You're so sweet. All right. See, and then you can, you know, use these little pinwheels. You can put them on your mailbox. You can put them on wreaths. These are cute. Aren't these cute? That would be cute back to back. I'm not sure what I would do with it, but 
This would be really cute if you did like a little mantle piece and you put them in the little mantle piece. My mom's been wanting me to do one for ours. So we're going to be doing one soon. Because I think she's getting fed up with waiting for me. <laughs> oh, I want to show y'all what I made in my group. In my group. I got to show y'all this. We made this in my group the other night. It turned out so cute. Don't you like this? It just was a wooden, plain old wooden star. And we transformed it into a door hanger. Ta-da! Didn't it turn out cute? We glittered it up. I was going to do two whites, but Carson said, no, it has to have two reds. So <laughs> that's what we did. Yeah. Awesome. This was fun. Oh, and I do want to tell y'all, we're going to be doing something fun with um, red carnations. So, if your Dollar Tree has some red carnations, grab them. Because we're going to make a little ladybug coming up. And they go quick if they're at the Dollar Tree. Awesome. All right. So did I miss anybody's question? Thank you. I know I love glitter. Yeah, it was fun. Yes, absolutely you could do six inch deco mesh on a smaller wreath. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, you definitely can do it on you know, like a 12 inch, if you did like a 12 inch wreath, for sure. Hey, Carol. Yeah, we made this tonight. We made another one of uh, Melly Mel's pancake wreaths. And we, um, we copied an idea that Brenda had, I thought was really cute. Wreaths by Busy Bee, so make sure you go see her. Or it's custom, is it custom Reese by Busy Bee? I don't know, is she on here? Are you on here, Brenda? Um, I think that we used like 48 of the carnations. But, and you can get, hold on. Get a styrofoam ball and get this foam. You can get this foam at Walmart. It's the 9.8 by 1.9. We're going to do something fun with it. So I thought we would do something different. Because it's fun to do different stuff sometimes. I know she ran out. Bella! Come here, baby. Come on, baby. She's not, she's still mad at me. <laughs> oh yeah you know what I really wanted the purple one but um yeah they did not have the purple one they had the pink one but I got this one from Amazon it's awesome thank you okay what was your question about a bow? Y'all, I need to get my glasses because I can't see. <laughs> uh, age is catching up with me. Okay. <laughs> you should try one, Kathy, definitely. Good night, Charlie. Oh, I'm glad you like them, Mary. Um, we'll be doing the ladybug maybe Sunday. I want to make sure that it's tonight the owl's going to be back. Um, so probably Sunday. I want to make sure that we don't do, I want to do the kit until I'm sure everybody's gotten it. Um, and they made us break it out over several days, so it's going out over a couple of days. So, 
Um, so you can get a lot of these ribbons, like these ribbons. They have them at um, Trendy Tree. They have them at Craft Outlet. Yeah, that, I know they have both of these. So, I did make the ribbon pinwheels. Yep, I sure did. Nope, the bee kit is the one that was for May. It's this one. That's the one that's going out right now. I don't know where I put the sign for the June kit. Where did I put the sign for the June kit? Y'all, I've been in packing, packing mode. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, there we go. This is the June kit. It's going to have two 21 inch mesh. It's going to have some sunflower ribbon. And it's cute. It's an oval. So this one will be listed on June 1st. And I have some others. Yeah, it'll be June 1st. Don't worry, I will get it up. I have some others planned coming up soon. So I'm not sure what July is going to be yet. Um, I haven't tried to make a peony out of ribbon. I'll have to see if I can figure that out. This is just one of those rustic hearts. Here, this ribbon's kind of covering it a little bit. Let's move that over. There, can you see it now? It's just a little rustic heart. I'm always turning it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Or you could put a sign like this, you know, something like that. Just depends on what you like. Yeah. Uh, if I have some B signs left, I will, for sure. My kits are on. Oh no, you didn't know about the kit? Uh oh. My kits are on hardworkingmomstore.com. Uh, you know where I got my, I got my stickers from um, Vista Print. Vista Print is an excellent place to get stuff printed. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, uh, there's also available on my website, hardworkingmom.com. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a button that has a link to my kit. It'll take you right there. <coughs> so just check out my website, hardworkingmom.com. Oh, and um, I'm going to put a link on my website also to sign up for the weekly recap email. So that um, if you want a list of the supplies and the links and what we did that week, that you can sign up for that. Yep. And don't forget, in the link, in the description, is the uh, link to sign up for the Wreath Makers Live ticket. Now, they're sold out, and I have to give her the name at the end of this week. So, I've got to pick somebody. I think I'll pick somebody on Friday night. Thank you. You have a blessed night, too. Awesome. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. And I will see y'all. I'll probably be on here Sunday, uh, Friday night. So I'll be on here Friday night to let you know who won. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll do something fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I will see y'all soon make sure to go check out sincerely creative and go check out um custom Reese by busy bee mm -hmm. they're both awesome well i hope you win make sure you sign up you can't win if you don't sign up <laughs> right good night anna marie all right i will see y'all later have a good night Bye, y'all.